All right, get ready for a tech treat, because following today's tech update, we're going to be showcasing a standout call for my weekend show. It's called The Kim Commando Show, of course. The big question about Apple's new Vision Pro headset is, if you can afford one, you'll spend about four grand all in. But should you? Apple claims that its Vision Pro headset is, and I'm quoting now, the future of computing. And one day it might be, but today is not that day. To do any kind of serious work with a computer, you still need a computer. The games supplied with Vision Pro are lame. They're going to get better. Right now, not so much. But if you want to watch a movie, especially in HD, Vision Pro is superb. Or scroll through your photo memories. Superb once again. They're also very comfortable, even after wearing them for long periods. But remember, Meta, HTC, and Sony have struggled to sell headphones to a disinterested public. Apple may succeed, but four grand is a lot of money. Hey, I'm giving away a brand new $1,000 PC or Mac right now. Enter at commando.com slash win. All right, here's a fantastic call for my weekend show, The Kim Commando Show. That's a highlight reel right inside itself. Rick in Los Angeles, California. Hi there, Rick. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. What's going on? Yeah, I'm wondering about, I was looking up some uh, Wi-Fi uh, tracking people in their homes, how Wi-Fi could be used to see through walls and and to actually see you, like if you're on TV with, the, with somebody that knows what they're doing. And I didn't know, I never knew about it. I stumbled on it. Do some research concerning some other uh, concerns that I had, and I came across this, and it was from the the one that actual article was from the professor at the U- University of Chicago, and they gave uh, a demonstration. You know, they, they gave a little bit on how it worked, mm-hmm. and this was back. It was already a few years old by the time I seen it, and uh, yeah, I was going to say I think this was big news like in 2018. Is then they yeah. they came out. It's called like silent surveillance or something like that. Exactly, and I've been looking for. And, and they mentioned in their article that there's a couple ways that it could that you can disable uh, the Wi-Fi from being able to pick up their information and stop somebody from actually picking it up and seeing you in your home. And uh, But they didn't give any reference to where you would find this information or how you would go about doing it. They just said, look, you know, you, you add you add a cover noise to mm-hmm. your open Wi-Fi ports. Okay, well, you know. But the, let me tell you the problem with that stuff. is, let me tell you, if you do that, you're asking for all kinds of <laughs> Wi-Fi problems. Uh, cause the Wi-Fi is not made to really work by adding this, this so-called noise, uh, within the network settings itself. The, there's, you know, you know what this is, Rick, this is a proof of concept. Okay. Meaning the researchers got out and they said, this is true. Uh, you know, pe- you can kind of tell where somebody is based upon where they're located in their house. Now, the reality is... How many people are actually care, Rick, that you're walking around naked in, in your living room? Okay. Uh, I mean, this is a security issue that is, is an issue, but it's not really an issue because it's not being exploited. And it's very difficult to exploit this. Uh, what you can do is you can do what's called, as you mentioned, cover noise. And this cover noise is basically you get some third-party software, you get into advanced network configurations, and then you start adding some ones and zeros and some dummy data to your configuration. And then it's like, okay, well, we don't know where Rick is walking around. But, you know, in reality, nobody's looking. Okay. Nobody nobody is going to stand there and try to figure out what what where you're where you are sitting in your house. I mean, we have enough security issues right now. I'm not I personally I'm not worried about this. I don't have it set up on my house and so I can't tell you to, I'm not going to tell you to go do this within your environment as well. That's why, you know, 2018 and 19 this was a big deal. That's why today it's not. It's just, it's just not a, it's not something that you need to lose sleep over. There are a lot of other things you should be losing sleep over. Like how about whether or not AI is going to take over the world and then kill all the humans. That's what I'm worried about for reals. 
Rick, thanks for your call today. Hey, thanks for hitting play today. You're awesome. If you have questions, shoot them my way. Head over to commando.com and look for that email Kim link. I read every single note like it's a hot off the press tech news alert. Hey, get ahead of the tech game too. Just sign up for my free daily newsletter. It's just a click away over at getkim.com. That's getkim.com.